Uh, good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to discuss on the topic, the tribal situation in Arunachal Pradesh. As part of one week faculty development programs on the ICT-based uh, learning and developing mocks for teaching process in higher education, conducting by Teaching Learning Center, Ramanujam College, University of Delhi, in collaboration with the SST, College of Arts and Commerce, Ulas Nagar, Maharashtra. I am Dr. Ratna Thayn, Assistant Professor, Department of Anthropology, there are nothing government college, uh, Itanagar, or Rajya Pradesh. Now, what are the goals and objectives of this lesson? The goal is to understand tribal lives and their cultures. And the objective is to facilitate the student to understand the tribal situation of Arunachal Pradesh. The topic covered in this lecture includes the socio-political aspects of different tribes of Arunachal Pradesh. We will also try to look at the religious aspects, the linguistic aspects of different tribes of this state. To begin with, let's uh, discuss uh, firstly the socio-political aspects. Arunachal Pradesh, uh, also known as the land of rising sun, is home to vast numbers of tribes reflecting great cultural diversities and more importantly speaking about uh, more than 110 different languages. Racially the tribes belongs to Mongoloid, specifically uh, Paleo-Mongoloid and Tibeto-Mongoloid origin. Currently, 16 tribes of these states is constitutionally listed. The rest are still yet to be listed constitutionally. The so-called the 26 major tribes of the states are given in the table. Number one, we have Adi, Akha, Apatani, Galo, Hilmiri, Kamiya, Kamti, Bugund, then Bangro, Lishu, sometimes called Yogun, Memba, Mizi, Misimiri, then Monfa, Mismi, Na, then Nishi, Nokte, Serdurpen, Simpo, Furoi, Tagin, Tangsha, Wangshu, Jakring, Sarta, 26 major tribes of the state. Now, let's talk about the so-called non-Arunachali tribes, non-indigenous, so-called non-indigenous natives of the state. Though they are very much part of the society and cultures of Arunachal Pradesh. They are Deori, number one, who call themselves as Jimo Chayan, meaning the children of the sun and the moon, uh, ethnically belong to Tibeto Burman. Population, according to 2001 census, is 4,504. Uh, At present, lives in Lekang Circle of Namsai District. Then we have the Chakma and Hajo, said to be expatriated from uh, the Chitangong Hill Tracks in Bangladesh in the year 1964. They are rehabilitated, allocated land in the uh, Balijan Circle of the Papumpare districts, Miao subdivisions of the Changlang district, and Chokam circles of the Lohit district. Their population in Arunachal is believed to be more than uh, one lakh. Then we have Mikir, also known as Karbi. The population in Arunachal Pradesh, according to 2011 census, is 1,553. They are distributed uh, in Balijan, Holongi, Kokilaj, and Sesha in Balijan Sarkum, or the Papumpare district. Then we have the Sonowal Kachari. They are mostly distributed in the Changlan district, Lekan Circle. Uh, the population, according to 2001 census, is uh, 
608. Then we have the Gorkane Fali, who probably identified themselves as Gurkha Regiment, settled in Bijayanagar Circle uh, in the Changlang district by the government of India. The first batch was settled in 1964. The second batch settled in 1967. The third, 1969, and the last, 1971. As per the 2001 census, the population in the state is uh, 51,232. The next non Orunachali community we have in the state is Tibetan. They are migrated to India uh, between 1965 to 1960, sorry, 1960 to 1965, along with Dalai Lama, settled in the West Kamen, Lohit, Upper Siang, and Changlang district. As per 2001 census, their population in this state is 25,000. The though the the government, state government, record mentions of uh, 26 major tribes. The term so-called major and for that matter minor uh, is nowhere to be found. Besides in our nature's identities are in a constant states of uh, changes. Nothing speaks. Therefore, sudden increase and decrease of tribes and population and happens because of numbers of reasons some are politically motivated some are uh, administrative faultless things and there are also other factors involved the adi for example is made up of so many uh, so-called subgroups or tribe if their origin migration trails and then uh, cultural things are considered. And the Adis at the moment has 15 groups Asin, Bori, Bokhar, Karko, uh, Komkar, Ligo, Milang, Minyong, Padam, Pai Ligo, Pangi, Pasi, Ramo, Simong, Tangam. Similarly, the Akas have two groups who speak totally different language, the Hurso and Kowa. Similarly, the Monpa has six groups different from one another culturally. They are Bat, Chuk, Virang, Kalaktang, List, Tawang Monpa. Similarly, the Misma, the Mismi has uh, three groups, uh, namely the Digaru, Idu, and Miju Mismi, culturally different. Uh, speaking different language and uh, we have Nocte uh, it also has the two groups Putsa and Olo then the Tangsas the Tangsas has 15 groups like the Adis they are Habi, Jugli, Kimsing, Longchung, Lungfi, Lungri, Morang Muklom, Rondrang, Sanwal, Sanke, Tika, Tonglim, Yoko. Now let's try to look at the religious aspects of different tribes. Padma Bhushan, Dr. Barrier Irwind, a renowned anthropologist, has placed the tribal uh, population of these states under three broad uh, cultural groups on the basis of their socio-religious affinities. The first is the body groups uh, who follow the Buddhist religions or have been uh, influenced by the Mahayana Buddhist. The Monpa Serduk Fend of West Kameng and the Tawang districts, Memba, Kamba, Mayos uh, of West Siang, Upper Siang and Anjos are allied to these body groups. The another Buddhist groups we have in the state is Kamti and Simpos inhabiting in the eastern zone of the state. They follow Hinayana Buddhism. 
The second group comprises of the Adis, the Apatanis, the Tarwin, the Mizis, the Furoik, the Kowal, Galos, the Akas, and the Mismis. They worshipped natural objects and, and their ancestors. The third group comprises the Nokte, the Wangshus, and the Tangshas of Tirap and Sangha districts. They all uh, retain the beliefs of animism and presently uh, many of them practice the elementary forms of this Vaishnavism. Let's briefly talk about the linguistic aspects of different tribes. The language of Arunachal Pradesh has been uh, classified under the Sino-Tibetan language and more specifically under tibeto burman and Thai groups of language. According to Lisa Lomdak, uh, a renowned linguist of this state, if we list the various linguistic uh, varieties or dialect, uh, the total language of this state uh, can go up to 90 languages. Interestingly, except the Monpas and the Kantis, who have their own script, rest of the tribes don't have uh, any written scripts. English is the official language and the Hindi almost served as the lingua franca of the state. As per the 2001, uh, 2011 census, the population percentage of the speakers of major language of the states are the Nishis, uh, which accounts for 26, 28.65%. Then we have the Adi, 17.35%, and the Hindi, 7.9%. Hence, it is clear that the Nishis is the most commonly spoken tribal language in the state, followed by the Adi language. Now, in preparing this lecture, I have taken uh, many views and points from different authors. Some of them are reflected in this slide. Thank you for your kind attention.